What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I've got a Venusaur team. I found this team over on Talon VGC's channel, and it was actually created by Robbie VG VGC, so I'm gonna make sure to link both of them uh, down in the description. But this, it struck me as a really cool team, because not only is it Koridon to set the sun, plus a Venusaur with chlorophyll and grass knot, which is pretty good in restricted formats, but it also has a Trick Room mode with regular Ursaluna, which you don't see that much these days, and Porygon 2 with Terra Ground Terra Blast. Watch out, Maridons. Uh, we also have Chi Yu, which is really good in the sun, just in general, and can power up Venusaur, or it could power up this Raging Bull, which is a really interesting set. It's a mix of offense and defense. It's got Assault Vest, but it's also Terra Electric with Thunderclap, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch. No Snarl or anything, or Electro Web or anything like that. Just damage, damage, damage. But anyway, I'm super excited to try out this team. Let's jump on into these battles. All right, Venusaur versus uh, huh? Chen Pao, Azumarill, Scizor, Pachirisu, Dragapult, and Persian. Oh, where's my priority blocking when I need it? What is this team? Oh wow. Okay, that's too cool. Um, and I'm kind of scared of it. Oh, I'm not too scared of Azumarill because I'm gonna put up Sun. They don't seem to have their own weather. Scizor, Koridon can eat with some fire moves, or Chiyu. Chen Pao Dragapult. That's scary. I guess Venusaur is faster, could throw sleep on somebody. Chiyu can do well into that combo as well. So maybe... Do I want Trick Room with Ursaluna? Not really, because they've got priority all over the place. Porygon 2 seems okay though. Ice Beam and Ground Terra Blast. Eh, not the best. I think I will go with a Koridon lead with Chi Yu, actually. Because I think Chi Yu is just great, and in the sun, even better. I want Venusaur in the back for sure. And then the question is does Bolt do much for me? Or do I want P2? I think I will bring Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt in the sun, it's just so strong. I'm worried about the Pachirisu causing problems for the Bolt, but it shouldn't be able to cause problems for anyone else. I guess maybe Venusaur if it's like goggles and I can't throw sleep powders anymore. <gasps> they got the bun! <laughs> anyway, whatever, they, they, they're they cooking here. They are definitely cooking. Persian Dragapult, okay. Okay, they've got a fake out. I can double protect on their fake out turn. Maybe I should. Uh, I could also Terra Ghost this, but no. Uh, did I call that in faint though? That would be hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna protect both anyway. Because if you got. Phantom Force, you're going to disappear before I can attack anyway. If that's what you're going for. Um, I think it would just be Fake Out into Koridon and Dragon Darts. If I had to guess. Okay, no Terra. I hope it's not a Faint plus a Dragon Darts, because those would both go into Koridon. Oh, maybe I should have just Terra just in case. Okay, it is Fake Out, good. Oh, I didn't expect to fight something this scary right away. Uh, and they're going for U-turn. Okay. All right, you're trying to get out of the way. Who do you have in the back that can take a dark move? Azumarill or Chen Pao, maybe? I want to be faster than you. How fast am I right now? Oh, I'm max speed already. Dragapult's still possibly faster, though. I think I will Terra Fire Flame Charge, assuming you're still gonna swap and throw a Heat Wave. Just massive fire damage right here. Alright, let's see. Because I would like, because like if they're gonna U-turn out, I would like to be faster when they come back in. I can't do much, I, all I can do is like Flare Blitz them, but that's still a lot. Especially if Chen Pao comes to the field later. Alright, there's the U-turn. Big damage from U-turn. 
And since they clicked it again, I'm thinking that's Joyce Band. They could double in with Persian and take out Chiyu, actually. Oh, they they brought a Zoomerill. Okay, that's gonna take this well. Hopefully, I can get the uh, Heat Wave off, but they could be going for like a Slash or something. But I got Venusaur that can come in, so that's okay. Last resort. Oh, that Persian's a threat. Okay. Fake out last resort. Nice. Uh, yeah, I have Sludge Bomb on Venusaur. That'll be fine. The real question is, can I ignore the Azumarill and double the Persian? I think I need to double the Persian, right? That's where their Sash would be, most likely. Azumarill might be threatened enough to protect, or burn a Terra. I'd like to see what its Terra is. Since they have Choice Band on the Dragapult, I don't have to worry about this being a Choice Band Azumarill and just Oko and Karidon just through the sun. So yeah, I'll Flame Charge here and Sludge Bomb. I know Persian can't have Protect. Oh, Persian Swap. Wow. Yeah, Dragapult, it's not going to like this double up, but at least I didn't Collision Course. And yeah, we baited out the Terra on Azumarill. If it's just like grass, I could have sludge bombed anyway. It is grass. I could have just sludge bombed. All right. Well, I was more worried about Last Resort Oko-ing something. As scary as Azumarill is, it's less scary right at the moment. How much? Almost half. Perfect. Next one can take that out. After any sludge bomb, if I get. Oh, Belly Drum Azumarill. That's fun. Uh, but if all you can do is Aqua Jet, do I really care? Will I just take the Aqua Jet with my Koridon? Is that the plan? I think that's as good a plan as any. I don't think that KOs. I'll Flame Charge, I'll Sludge Bomb. And they might try to read a Protect or something anyway. Ah, oh, no, they don't go for Aqua Jet at all. All right. Presumably, I take out Azumarill with Venusaur. Let's go, Venusaur. And goodbye. Perfect. All right. Uh, they still have Fake Out, Last Resort, Persian. Fortunately, we've got Protect. We didn't see their last. But now that Azumarill and Dragapult are gone, I think those are the scariest things they had. Persian's scary, but it's not as fast as these guys. Oh, they do have Pachirisu. Alright, we know Persian doesn't have Protect, but it has Fake Out, and it has to Fake Out here. They already burned Terra, so Collision Course, Sludge Bomb are free. One of them will happen. Unless they fake out and follow me. And we've got Cloak on Venusaur, so if they fake out wrong... Oop! You faked out wrong. Awesome. I assume it's Sash, right? No, it's not Sash! Okay! Silk Scarf or something, then? Would make sense? Huh. How much does Sled Bomb do? Venusaur, look at you go! And a poison! That might actually heal them, though, if they have Citrus Berry. And yeah, Nuzzle and right on fine. And Sun is gone, but we don't really need the Sun anymore. It's just a Pachirisu. Should not have brought Raging Bolt. Oh, they don't have Citrus Berry. Okay. Then, Flare Blitz. Sludge Bomb. With the poison, they have no shot, yeah. GG's. That was such a cool team. Props for bringing it. Okay, ooh, Ice Rider, Urshifu, Pelipper, Clefairy, Amoongus, and Goldengo. Wow, that's an annoying team. Two redirectors? An Amoongus? Urshifu-Calyrex is also a really powerful combo. Alright, what do we do? 
into... Oh, they have Pelipper too, so Coridon doesn't like that. Uh, we have P2 to help control the Trick Room, but they have Urshifu, and we can't just go Terra Ground, because then we'd be weak to Calyrex. TU seems good, but it's hard to use in the rain. Bolt is Terra Electric. That could do some big damage, honestly. I think I'm just going to use Bolt. And Chiyu. Bolt and Chiyu can put out huge damage. Uh, Koridon in the back. Just for Sun. And Venusaur. I'm wondering if it's P2 or Venusaur. Could be Ursaluna. We'd be, we'd be slower than their Calyrex if Trick Room does go up. Oh, it's a Venusaur video. Yeah, locking that in. I've got so many ice weaknesses on this team. Uh, I probably should have read up into this team a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly what the answer is into Cali. But it's all right. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a cool card. Nice. Good day for cards. Urshifu Golden Go. Water Urshifu plus Golden Go. All right. Golden Go should be terrified of my Chiyu. Urshifu should be terrified of getting Thunderclapped. They don't have priority blockage, but they can swap out their Urshifu. Go ahead. Thunderclap. Dark Pulse. I'm not gonna overthink this. I'm gonna click the buttons. We actually got a great lead. <laughs> uh, Sash Urshifu is possible. If so, they might be willing to risk it and just try to take out our Chiyu. Thunderclap. Goodbye, Urshifu. All right. A criti that critical hit probably didn't matter. That's very unlikely that that mattered. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't bring Venusaur to this one. I tried. Um, uh, good game, I guess. Uh, next time, swap out of the Thunderclap instead of uh, not doing that. <laughs> And that's how you beat uh, Calyrex Ice. All right, here we've got, oh, Sun versus Sun. All right, we're not gonna argue over the weather. They've got Rillaboom, a Bolt of their own, Mind Shao's a cool pick, a Chiyu of their own, and Fluttermane. Oh, they've got Chiyu Flutter, ooh. Um, I don't think their Rillaboom comes here. Mind Shao, maybe. For my Porygon too. Terra Ground doesn't really help me here. I guess it helps against Bolt, but it's not huge. Ursaluna, Terra Fairy, it's interesting. Uh, Chiyu Fluttermane is what I'm afraid of most. So maybe Raging Bolt with its Electric Terra can do a lot of damage to that. I'd be a little afraid of P2. Um, Venusaur is not faster than max speed boosted Fluttermane. So, that's a little awkward. Uh, Coridon's good, though. Like, I have to Terra the Coridon. So maybe Bolt isn't the best idea. But Coridon plus... Coridon plus who? P2? With Venusaur... No, honestly, Ursa Luna. I want to play this game flexibly. I I don't know. This this might seem like a weird way to play, but with their Fluttermane and their Groudon, I don't think Bolt is the call. Oh, that's a cool card. That's really cool. Well done. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see what they do. Groudon Fluttermane. Okay. They are not gonna stop Trick Room if I want it. Do I want it? 
Good question. Oh, but that's a cool combo, because then if I Terra my Coridon, I'm in trouble, and if I don't Terra my Coridon, I'm in still trouble. Maybe I can Terra Flare Blitz down their Groudon. And then set Trick Room. Oh, this is risky. I don't know if I like this play anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of like expecting to lose Coridon actually. Uh, but if I don't lose Coridon here, it's good because I'll still I'll be slower than their Flutterbane. Trick Room will be up. Porygon Two might be able to finish off their Groudon. Uh, no, they're gonna Terra their Groudon into Fire, I guess. Wow! Okay, should have saved my ground Terra Blast. Oh, and they have Taunt on Blast. Okay, I Terra'd for no reason. <laughs> oh, what a bad turn one. Alright. Ah, uh, that's chunking it, actually. That wasn't nothing. There's Blades. Ah, uh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Goodbye. Yikes. Uh, but I've got Venusaur. Venusaur is pretty good. Okay, trick room after the top. Alright. Alright, Venu, let's see what you can do. Don't think Groudon is in KO range. I could throw a Sleep Powder, but I'm gonna rather Protect and Terra Blast just to bring Groudon into KO range. Uh, it was a Taunt from Flutter. Alright, I wasn't gonna be able to Sleep Powder anyway. They know they're faster than a Chlorophyll Venusaur. Heat Crash into P2. Ow. It's gonna hurt a lot. We should take it though, right? Yeah. Good. Excellent. That should be Sludge Bomb range. And what is there to do other than... How's this taunt going? Last turn? I'm not going to be able to get anything off, though. I'll try to break Flutter's Sash if they try to taunt me again. Alright, Groudon's gone. We traded Restricted for Restricted, and I lost P2, mostly. Maybe they don't finish it off here. Maybe they do. They do. Okay. Fair is fair. Ursaluna is still a threat. Don't sleep on Ursaluna. They might even read a protect so I can get a sub in. Who knows? Oh no, it's Rillaboom! That's bad. No, is it? Two sludge bombs should take that out. Sludge Bomb here. They have to read Ursa Luna Protect, yeah? Alright, if I Protect here, I'm gonna lose Ursa Luna next turn. Unless I get the double. If I lose Ursa Luna, I can't win this game. I'm going for sub. Oh, Sludge Bomb almost takes Rillaboom, gets the poison. They didn't fake out, they didn't glide. They can instead go for an icy win, which will re reveal the cloak on Venusaur. There's a high horsepower into Venusaur, which we live. Alright, Ursaluna gets its sub up. Rillaboom goes down next turn, I think. Oh, it'll be close. Alright, if they Icy Wind, it doesn't break Ursaluna's sub. Do they double Ursaluna here? Sub. 
sun is about to end, but that doesn't matter. I need a sludge bomb Fluttermane and protect Ursaluna. I need to get a call right again. If they double into the bear here, we've got a shot. If they take Venusaur... Ooh, okay. Were we speed tying that whole time? And Rillaboom has to go down. If Rillaboom doesn't go down... Oh, I don't know. High horsepower, huh? Interesting. Are you choice locked into that? And your booster speed Fluttermane, okay. Come on, Rillaboom, go down, please. No! Uh oh. Well, that's no good. I probably could have taken the Icy Wind, yeah. The play was last turn, Headlong Rush, Fluttermane. At least Headlong Rush is gonna move last, so I don't care about the defense drops. I'd probably take a high horsepower, but and then take both of these out, but their last Pokemon has to be able to touch me. Maybe they only have Ghost and Electric moves on uh, whatever they have last. It's possible. Not really, but it's possible. Or maybe their last is slower than a uh, minus one Ursa Luna built for Trick Room. Right? I'm bringing this game a lot closer than it should after that terrible turn one. Taunt on Flutter. I should have seen the Taunt on Flutter coming. Taunt on Flutter is pretty common, actually. Not like the most common, but if you lead it into a Trick Room team, I should have known. Uh, Chiyu. Chiyu can miss. Click Heat Wave and miss. Do it. <laughs> I dare you. It's probably their Sash, anyway. And they click Dark Pulse. Alright, GG. Ooh. Venusaur did really good there. Venusaur didn't win the game, but it did really well. I'll take it. And you got a great card. Okay, we've got Ditto. We've got Lunala. Urshifu, Rillaboom. Indeedee, and... Why can't I think of that thing's name? What's that firebug thing? Volcarona. Got it. Alright. My mind went totally blank as soon as this team preview came up. And honestly, my mind is still blank. I don't know what they're gonna try to do. I guess it could be Psy Spam. She used good into that. I don't think we have Snarl, though. No. Well, they'll expect a dark move anyway, and we could just not click it. Maybe Koridon. Koridon could just, like, blow up Indeedee. And then allow Chi Yu to go crazy. Yeah, I like that plan. Fake out lead, they could get Trick Room up. They have two terrains, that's crazy. Uh, if they do get Trick Room up, having Ursa Luna or Porygon 2 would be nice. P2 can't do as much. Ursa Luna can hit a lot of stuff hard. I like Ursa Luna. And Venusaur, of course, because if we don't let them get Trick Room up, Venusaur just outspeeds that whole team and can do a lot of damage. Uh, I don't think Sleep Powder is going to be very powerful here, but Grass Knot into Lunala should be strong, right? Actually, I should check that. <laughs> I, should, I should just have the Venusaur pulled up so I can know Grass Knot power. That's a cool card. Lunala takes 100 base damage. Okay, it's not max. Lunala's kind of like for a legendary. Oh, they got their water type in front of all of my fire. But like, so? Chiyu, what's your Terra? Ghost? 
Uh, I can bring in Venusaur really safe. Unless there's a Psychic move coming that slot. <laughs> Into Chiyu? Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah. I think... Flame Charge would make me faster if they set Trick Room, but I'm already faster. So I'll Flame Charge, just to break the multi stuff. Shadow Shield, and I'll bring in Venusaur. I think it's fine. Uh... What's the scariest thing they could do? Fairy, Terra, and Moonblast. Okay, they just protect. Cool. I don't mind that. Is this a U-turn? Uh, we see that we're faster, so you're not choiced. Surging Strikes into Venusaur. That does nothing. Perfect. Alright, now... Urshifu seems pointless and should be scared. So I can break the shield with Venusaur and then throw a huge Terrifier Flare Blitz? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. They can't protect this turn. And Urshifu should run scared. Yep, bye! See you later! Hopefully this works. Who are you bringing in? Indeedy? Yeah. I figured you'd have Indeedy. Expa clicking Expanding Force here seems really tempting, I bet. With my two Psychic Weaknesses on the field. You can't resist, can ya? But I think this double up should be able to do it. Koridon's Flare Blitz in the Sun is just... absurd. And Grass Knot probably won't do that much, but it's... That did nothing. <laughs> wow! Shadow Shield is a busted ability. Alright, please take it out. Bye, Lunala. See you later. Love it. We do now have the problem of Urshifu, and I can't Grass Knot it because Indeedee's there. But it's a Ditto Sore. Okay. <laughs> you wanted a Venusaur? You got it. You got Grass Knot and Sludge Bomb and Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder is annoying. But I can protect Koridon. Sludge Bomb your Ditto, I think. Helping Hand! Ooh, what are they going for? They're not going for Sleep Powder. I'd like to see if you're choiced. But if it's a speed tie and you go first anyway. Okay, they were trying to sludge bomb. Koridon, cool. I would like to see if you're choiced, but that doesn't... That implies you might be, but it's no, it's no guarantee. I'll go into Ursaluna now, assuming you are choiced. I don't see a problem with hitting it again. Now I would like to have Strict Room up, honestly, for this Ursaluna. Ursaluna's not going to be able to do much when they have a uh, Urshifu in the back anyway. So this shouldn't KO their Ditto. Good. They KO my Venusaur though. Fine. We should Chiyu plus Koridon plus Ursaluna. No, we should be okay. Yeah, I'll bring in Chi Yu here. Take out the Venusaur with Heat Wave and the Ndidi with Facade. Since they're probably locked into Sludge Bomb, yeah, there's not much they can do about it. But I Heat Wave in case they try to follow me. And battle's canceled! We got them! We got them! We beat their anti Venusaur Venusaur! <laughs> and we are back. How do you think Venusaur did? I think Venusaur did fine. Uh, and it's mostly because I never clicked Sleep Powder. <laughs> uh, when I build a Venusaur team, I don't even put Sleep Powder on it unless I'm going with like wide lens. Uh, so I, I guess if you're in a pinch, it's the right move. But I like that we didn't really have to click it this time. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go check out Talon VGC and Robbie VGC. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.